Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to add and subtract numbers with and without regrouping. Here, you will add numbers with sums up to 1 million with and without regrouping. Also, you will subtract numbers where both numbers are less than 1 million with and without regrouping. But first, let's have a drill. Addition 8 plus 6 14 5 plus 8 13 15 plus 5 20 17 plus 3 20 Let's do subtraction 9 minus 3 6 10 minus 6 4 12 minus 8 4 Very good kids! Now, let's add numbers with sums up to 1 million without regrouping. Without regrouping means you can add the digits in each place value column without needing to carry over any value to the next column. Let's learn the addition sentence. The two numbers that you are adding are what you call the addends. And the answer in the addition sentence is the sum. Let's have a story problem. Maria wants to plant flowers in her garden. She bought 2,345 sunflower seeds and 3,324 daisy seeds. How many seeds did Maria buy in total? Let's have these two numbers. Let's add them. Make sure that the digits are aligned to each other. Starting from one place value, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Let's add first from the right to the one's place value. 5 plus 4 is 9. 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 plus 3, 6. And 2 plus 3 is 5. So the answer, so the sum is 5,669. Another story problem. A toy factory produced 23,412 toy cars in January and 34,153 toy cars in February. How many toy cars did the factory produce in total over these two months? Let's have these two numbers. Let's add them. 2 plus 3 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. 4 plus 1 is 5 3 plus 4 is 7 and 2 plus 3 is 5 Very good! The sum is 57,565 Let's have another story problem A book publishing company sold 402,135 books online and 23,864 books in stores this year how many books did the company sell in total? Let's add these two numbers. 5 plus 4 is 9. 3 plus 6, 9. 1 plus 8, 9. 2 plus 3, 5. 0 plus 2 is 2. And 4 plus nothing, let's bring down 4. So, the answer is 425,000. 999 Let's try! Give the sum of the following numbers 5 Very good! 5 Very good! 
Very good! Now, let's add numbers with sums up to 1 million with regrouping. With regrouping occurs when the sum of digits in a place value column is 10 or more. You carry over the extra value to the next higher place value. Let's have a story problem. Sarah and her friends are collecting bottles for cycling. Sarah collected 2,876 bottles. And her friend Lisa collected 1,589 bottles. How many bottles did they collect together? Let's add these two numbers. Let's add starting from the one's place value. 6 plus 9 is 15. It is incorrect to put the two digits in one's place value. Remember to carry over the digit to the left, which is 1. So 5 will be in one's place value and 1 will be carry over to the next highest place value. Here! Now let's add these three digits. The answer is 16. Again, we will carry over 1. And we will put 6 in the 10th place value. Remember to carry digit 1 to the next place value. The answer is 14. So we will put 4 below and we will carry over 1. The answer is 4. So Sarah and her friends collected 4,465 bottles. Another story problem. A company is shipping packages across two regions. In the first region, they shipped 47,856 packages. And in the second region, they shipped 28,965 packages. How many packages did a company ship in total? Let's add these two numbers. 6 plus 5 is 11. 1 carry 1. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12. 2 carry 1. 1 plus 8 plus 9 is 18. 8 carry 1. 1 plus 7 plus 8 is 16. 6 carry 1. And 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 7. So the sum is 76,821. Another story problem. A toy store is organizing a special sale. They currently have 567,000 890 dolls in their inventory and received a new shipment of 432,110 dolls. How many dolls will the toy store have in total after the shipment? Let's add these two numbers. 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 1, 10. 0 carry 1. 1 plus 8 plus 1 is 10. 0 carry 1. 1 plus 7 plus 2 is 10. 0 carry 1. 1 plus 6 plus 3 is 10. 0 carry 1. And 1 plus 5 plus 4 is 10. So, 1 million dolls. Let's try. Very good. Another one. Good job! Now, let's subtract numbers without regrouping. You can subtract the digits in each place value column directly without needing to borrow from the next column. Let's learn first the subtraction sentence. The first number before the minus sign is called the minuend. It is higher than the subtrahend. And the next number after the minus sign is the subtrahend. It is lesser than the minuend. And the answer is called the difference. Let's have the story problem. Emily has 49,536 marbles in her collection. She gives 17,234 marbles to her friend. How many marbles does Emily have left? Let's subtract these two numbers. 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 3 is 0. 
5 minus 2, 3, 9 minus 7, 2, and 4 minus 1 is 3. 32,302 is the difference. Let's subtract these two numbers. 9 minus 6 is 3. 5 minus 5, 0. 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 minus 3, 1. 5 minus 2, 3. And 6 minus 1, 5. So, 531,403 is the difference. Let's try! Very good! Another one! Good job! And... Correct! Now, let's subtract numbers with regrouping, also known as borrowing occurs when the digit in the top number is smaller than the digit in the bottom number for a given place value column, requiring you to borrow from the next column. Let's have the story problem. A sports store ordered 45,672 basketballs for the new season. After a big sale, they sold 18,985 basketballs. How many basketballs are left in the store? Let's subtract these two numbers. 2 minus 5, since 2 is lesser than 5, we cannot subtract this directly. So, in this case, we have to borrow 1 from the next place value digit, which is 7. So 7 minus 1 is 6, and the 1 that we borrowed from 7 will be put beside 2. So 2 will become 12. Since now 12 is bigger than 5, we will subtract these two numbers directly. So 12 minus 5 is 7. 6 minus 8 cannot be. We'll borrow 1 from 6 and 6 will become 5. And the 1 that we borrowed from 6 will be put beside 6. And 6 will become 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. 5 minus 9 cannot be. We will borrow 1 from 5. And 5 will become 4. And 1 that we borrowed from 5 will be put beside 5. And 5 will become 15. 15 minus 9 is 6. 4 minus 8 cannot be. We will borrow 1 from 4. And 4 will become 3. And the 1 that we borrowed from 3 will be put beside 4 and it will be 14 14 minus 8 is 6 3 minus 1 is 2 26,687 is the answer let's try very good Good job! Correct! Activity time! Add the following numbers without regrouping. 
Here are the answers. Activity number 4. Subtract the following numbers with regrouping. Here are the answers. Always remember, when adding or subtracting numbers, ensure they are aligned by place value. For addition without regrouping, simply add each column's digit and write the result if it's less than 10. With regrouping, if a column's sum is 10 or more, write the unit digit and carry over the 10th digit to the next column. For subtraction without borrowing, Directly subtract each column's digit if the top number is larger or equal to the bottom number. If borrowing is needed, subtract by first adjusting the top number and borrowing from the next column to the left. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!